Salawam, all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechakodash. Double honors to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Peace, safety, much love, and blessing to the Akim across the four corners of the earth that are pushing out this truth and truth and sincerity and putting their lives on the line to do so. I want to say Shalom to you, brothers. I'm the brother of Rock from GMS Atlanta, back in the spirit. Uh, with another lesson and lord willing this lesson be edifying to an elect member too um, i have an article on screen here from the usa today um and it was updated 10 minutes ago uh today uh november 19th uh 2020 um and it's entitled coronavirus updates cdc discourages travel thanksgiving parades go viral universities urge students not to go home for holidays now, um, unless you've been living on the rock, you know that COVID-19 um, has been sweeping the U.S. Uh, in uh, exponential numbers. All right. Now, it's a short video here that I'm not going to play, but it's basically saying uh, the U.S. population make up 4.3 percent of the world. But it has 18% of all COVID-19 cases. And uh, the number of deaths, I believe it said, was 250,000 uh, thus far. You know, far more than any the, in the other countries in the world. Now, America has this, Americans, if, if I shall say, has this sense of freedom and that the uh, Constitution and their amendments are gonna stop uh, Big Brother, which is the government, from administering these vaccines and restricting their travel um, to the point where they're not gonna continue to uh, they're not gonna continue to urge the people to not travel. They're gonna make them stop traveling. All right. They're not gonna uh, recommend vaccinations, but they're gonna require vaccination. Okay. And a lot of Americans are on a, a misconception of that their rights can't be um, fringed upon or infringed upon, so like you. So, um, but what they don't know is this devil has decrees in the background that he signed to as, um, as to where if you're considered a threat to public health and safety, your rights go out the window and they can administer whatever they would like um, according to what's best for the population on the whole so with that being said I'm going to uh, get into this article and bring out a couple of precepts and Lord willing to be edifying so it says the US death toll from coronavirus has surpassed 250,000 including 1700 reported Wednesday alone Hospitals, hospitalization across the nation have exploded with almost 80,000 Americans now receiving inpatient treatment. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Not so much. Now, uh, Thanksgiving itself is a wicked-ass holiday. You know, it celebrates the downfall and the killings of our people, you know, which come from the tribe of Gad, the so-called uh, Native Americans. All right. Which, if you're a Native American or you're an Israelite man, you shouldn't be partaking in these pagan-ass holidays anyway. But, you know, that's neither here nor there uh, pertaining to this lesson. But Thanksgiving is a time where uh, these people gather and are in a very mirthful and partying and having a good time and uh, stuffing their damn faces with, uh, with ham and... Uh, Whatever, you know, they, they want to partake in. Big ass plates and portions, you know, uh, eating uh, till they can't eat anymore. You know, just lounging and, and watching football and drinking. And, you know, just not concerned with the cares of the world, you know, at the time. And in a time like this, this is when you should be on all time alert, on heightened alert. The scriptures tell you that uh, to be sober and to be vigilant because the devil uh, roamed as a lion sinking whom he may devour, roughly paraphrasing. 
So why, while most of Americans are are spiritually asleep and not woke to the fact that this devil is in the background finagling these legislations and signing laws into place and uh, setting up these vaccines so they can be administered in a timely and orderly fashion, you know, they're not considering this is going on in the backdrop. All right. It says New York Council. It's massive Thanksgiving Day parade weeks ago. Houston followed suit and Detroit is planning a viral event as well. All right. So let me get this quick pre sale and I'll come back to second address. Uh, this is Isaiah uh, 2 and verse 17. Uh, and it reads. And the loft and the loftiness of man shall be bowed down. Now loftiness if you're familiar with a loft, it sits up in a high place. All right. So that's the state of, of being on high or being e exalted or extolled. Now, the scriptures here in Isaiah 2 and 17 say, and the loftiness of man shall be bowed down. So this state of being up here and proud and in a state of comfortability is going to be bowed down. All right. And you see it happening. Now, as I stated earlier in the lesson, they're. Um, they're uh, recommending these things, but there's going to come a time when they're uh, actually forcing it because Americans don't listen. All right. You tell a motherfucker not to go outside or to wear their mask. They want to rebel because they have a false sense of freedom and that this is America and you can't tell us what to do. OK. And that's when America is going to have to crack the whip, man. This devil is going to have to show his horns uh, by um, writing into the law or uh, draconian uh, laws and measures. OK, so and the loftiness of man shall be bowed down and the haughtiness of men shall be made low and the Lord shall be extolled in that day. So in a day where all of this party and mirth and all of that comes to a halt. You know, and while all of this has been going on, you've been having men of the Lord telling you that these things are going to happen. And when they do happen, it's not going to be through us. You know, it's going to be through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. So he's going to be exalted in that day, you know, because all of the things that he has uh, said and that is written in these scriptures are faithful and true. And they're going to come to pass. So... We're just, you know, the messengers and that in which or who the message is coming from and who's orchestrating, you know, the things that are taking place is going to be exalted, you know. And when that time comes, you know, in the time of Jacob's trouble, you want to be on the right side of judgment. All right. So let's go back to this article. It says uh, many universities are, are, are students not to go home. For the holidays Now they're urging them at this point At some point it's going to be like You know wherever you are you're stuck there Alright no more travel no none of that Okay It says concerned about igniting a nationwide Burst of new cases Some schools are suggesting that students That do go home not come back Fearing an outbreak Of infections on campus The CDC And prevention uh, Chimed in Thursday uh, the CDC chimed in Thursday recommending Americans simply not travel for the holidays. So, I mean, if you are in a to where you're not uh, at home or you're not um, within your living quarters around that time, hey, you may be stuck, man, and you're just going to have to deal with it and pray that the Lord be with you. All right. It says the tragedy that could happen is that one of your family members is coming to this family gathering and they could end up severely ill, hospitalized or dying, said Dr. Henry Walk and CDC's COVID-19 incident manager. We don't want this to happen. So, <clears throat> so like you from now, um, second address to 15 chapter, uh, starting verse uh, 17. It says a man shall to. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. All right. And man, we are living in the times in what Edris was uh, was seeing. Okay. 
of verse 18, for because of their pride, being in a state of loftiness, you know, because of the pride, because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Continuing on, verse 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. So when all hell break loose, that neighbor that you go over and borrow sugar from and catch up, you know, and go uh, watch the game with, or even may go over them their house for Thanksgiving, they're not going to have pity on you in that day. And why is that? Let's continue to read. It says, but shall destroy their houses with swords and spoil their goods. Because of lack of bread and for great tribulation. And that's what's coming to America, man. All right. They're already talking about a food shortage and how they're going to you're going to be required to have a vaccination in order to for the government to administer those uh, those plant based uh, uh, goods to you, you know. So, hey, man, this is just a quick lesson. You know, this article I ran across because throughout this whole time, America, all they're thinking about is Thanksgiving and, and stuffing their damn bellies, you know. And then after that, what, Christmas? Then what after that, New Year's? And what after that, Valentine's Day? You know, it's just a continuous cycle, man. These folks are in a, in a damn trance, okay? So, amen. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to end it by giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash. Shalom.